In this video, I will be discussing various methods of adding audio files to songs in mobile sheets. The first method I will discuss is adding audio files through the song editor. To access the song editor, either tap New at the top of the library screen while viewing the Recent or Songs tab, or long press a song to select it, and then tap Edit Song at the top of the screen. Once the song editor has been displayed, tap the audio tab at the top of the screen. On this tab, the list of audio files for the current song is visible on the left side of the screen, and an audio player is visible below the list, which can be used to play back audio tracks and configure their duration. To add a new audio file, tap the Add icon, and then select the source for the audio file, which can be on the device storage or in the cloud. In this example, we will add two audio files to the current song from the music folder, test1.mp3 and test2.mp3. Once the audio files have been selected in the file browser, tap OK and they will both be added to the audio file list. The audio title is extracted from the MP3 metadata and this is shown in the file list. To switch the active audio track, simply tap the audio file on the list and it will be loaded into the audio player. To listen to the audio track, tap the play icon. To adjust the range of time for the audio track, you can slide the start or end times as needed. A separate tutorial video discusses all of the other audio player options in more detail. One important thing to note is that several song fields in mobile sheets can be populated from the metadata of audio tracks. In order to enable this functionality, go to Settings, Import Settings, and turn on the Populate Metadata when importing audio setting. After importing audio, the following fields will be populated if the audio file metadata contains entries for them and the song currently doesn't have a value in that field. Title, Artist, Album, Composer, Genre, Year, and Duration. Another option for adding audio files is to have them imported at the same time as PDFs, images, text, or chord profiles. To enable this functionality, go to Settings, Import Settings, and enable Automatically Add Matching Audio. When that setting is enabled and a file is imported, Mobile Sheets will look for an audio file in the same directory that has the same name but a different file extension. For example, if test.pdf is imported, and a test.mp3 file is in the same directory, Mobile Sheets will automatically add test.mp3 to the new song that is created for test.pdf. In order for this feature to work, Mobile Sheets must have permission to access any file in the import directory. On Android, this works for any folder on the device storage. On Windows, this will only work if files are imported from inside the application storage location, which is listed under Settings, Storage, Set the Mobile Sheet Storage Location. On iOS, this will only work inside the Mobile Sheets application folder or while batch importing, as complete folder access is not granted otherwise. On all platforms, this feature always works when importing from the cloud, as there are no file restrictions in that case. The last method of importing audio files is to use the Import Batch Audio Import option on the library screen. This will import all audio files from the selected folder and will create blank pages for each song that is created. This option will create one song per audio file and will not update existing songs in the library, so it's only meant to be used when users only need audio playback without an associated file to view. I will now import several files using the batch audio import to demonstrate this feature. After tapping Import, Batch Audio Import, 
I then tap the folder and browse for the folder containing my audio files. In this case, there are three audio files that I will import. Tap Start to begin the import, and the songs will be created. When one of those songs is loaded, we can see that a blank page is displayed and the audio player has loaded the associated audio file. As demonstrated in this video, adding audio files to songs in the library is no more complicated than importing other file types, and when configured properly, no extra steps are required to add audio tracks to new songs. For additional information on the audio player and the available settings and features, watch the separate tutorial linked at the end of this video. Thank you for watching. To find more tutorial videos, click the links below or visit www.zubersoft.com. There are videos covering both basic features in mobile sheets as well as more advanced topics like MIDI.